the skin. Comes off real nicely. It's like paper. Like uh, leather, pretty cool design. Great looking fish. Stacking it like that. See? I'm gonna try to pack it in. Um, it holds two shad. The jars do. I think it's a labor of love. We have a teaspoon and a half, a tablespoon maybe, and uh, good to go. What I'm gonna do now is wipe the uh, the edges. I got vinegar. 
ridge so that we can get a good seal. Wipe down all the oils. All right. Make sure the fingers are clean. Got that baby on there. Like so, and then we just finger tighten. That's it. Tighten up. That's it. And that should hold. That's it. Into the uh, uh, pressure cooker. Okay. All right. The process is long. It is long. But we're gonna skin but it and then jar it. Yep. Long but fun. Yep. Here it goes. Bam. You just like. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Bam. See how that easy that is? Skin it. Yep. Peel it off. A little section by section. Got, I get some help. Yeah. He it's does just, have some help today. It's just beer. Cheap. <laughs> cheap not beer. not so cheap. So here we go. Keep on going. Alright, keep on going. So I'm gonna put mine here. Then, I'm get just that. about jaw length. There, right there, right there, and just push into it. Turn it over. Push it in. There you go. Look at that. Jar? Yep. Place it like that, and I'll wipe it down with with vinegar on the outside so it doesn't look so messy. Just for the seal. Well, look at this fillet. It is like it is a nice, smooth, sexy fillet. <laughs> it is. I tell you, I was like, it took me three hours, no doubt. I, it was about maybe thirty shad that I filleted. So thirty shad, three hours. Yeah, and I'm just. I, I do it really slow because this is the first time I've ever done this, so yeah. Here go. Yeah, so yeah. So go. Hallie, where do you get your shad? And how can you get your shad? Um secret place, man. No, no. <laughs> no secret it, place, it, huh? It is it, it's not a secret place at all. It's everybody knows where it is. It's I fish off of the Willamette River. And we use tiny jigs. And if you follow my my um, videos, you know where I fish. It's not a secret. But the secret is how to prepare shad, how to harvest it and enjoy it. And, and this is the way to do it. That's good. So this is after the fish has been smoked, correct? This is. That's correct. That's correct. And yeah. How long did you smoke it? I smoked it for about two hours. Two hours to two, smoke it. Two hours. And then it gets jarred up. Yep. Ready to go in the and, pressure and, cooker. And ready to, to go in a pressure cooker because what we want to do is dissolve the bones. I mean, it's when you, after a process, it's basically a boneless fish when you're, when you're um, biting into it. So it's a fish that has a lot of bones that becomes basically a boneless fish. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, which is and when you do beautiful. cut into the fish, you will know how much bones oh, yeah. it has. Yeah. And therefore, after you do, after you smoke it and then pressure cook it with the jar, it, the bones basically become very soft and it really dissolves when you eat it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Great job. Yep. Nice. And you get you need another. Oh, you got the bottom there. Doing this process is grab yourself a drink. Yep. What a beautiful night. 
It's only not just a beautiful night, but it's a Friday night. <laughs> it is a Friday night. Hey, what else can you do besides going out and doing other stuff? Hang out like, with friends. Yeah, there you go. Just hang out with friends and yeah. enjoy the evening. Exactly. Have a couple of drinks. Yep. Look at that! Yeah. Look how nice this looks! Yep. Wow! Golden brown. So these ones are just came from the smoker. Wow, look at and this. And the skin, but I mean it's just like paper. Look at that. It just comes off. It just comes off. Mmm. That smoke. How does the skin taste like it? What do you think? I don't know. Uh, give, it a, give it a try. How is it? Actually, it's really good. Okay. It's a little chewy, but like leather, but outstanding the flavor. <laughs> it's a good snack. Mm. Yeah, no, no, it's super good. Love it. It's a good snack. Yep. Underrated fish. Mm. Underrated fish. All right, it's. So one of the best things about Shad is that whoever that you talk to that fishes for Shad, you're always going to hear a different way of how they cook it. You have someone, someone says frying, someone says steaming, someone says soup, even soup. Fish cake, then, this guy. Fish cake, <laughs> which is myself. He did not know it was feeding him Shad. No, it was good. He did not know it was feeding him Shad. All right. So I got my hot oil. Hot Ooh. oils is wow. super good. Just put it a little bit like that. That will go into the jar. And you can do any kind of spices that you want. I mean, you don't have to put hot, hot oil or that, that's what I use. You can put sriracha, you can do whatever, jalapeno, Thai pepper, whatever you please. Whatever floats your boat. Yep. Different strokes for different folks. <laughs> Alright. As long as you're stroking. <laughs> there you go. There you go. This is my first jar. My first full jar. Look at that. Nice. I'm happy with it. Nice. Or maybe a second full jar. I don't know. <laughs> Have some more beer. Have some more beer. <laughs> I am having more beer. There you go. Cheers, everyone. There you go, cheers. Thanks to uh, Great Notion. Actually um, did a batch of canning yesterday and uh, I'm gonna do a second batch now. So I have actually the uh, box here. I, I didn't know anything about canning, but this is the Presto 23 quart uh, pressure cooker. This one. I wanna let you know uh, a few things about it. Really easy. You just um, attach that with the, a nut right here. You put oil, like vegetable oil, around the the ring. You gotta wash wash it with soap and water first, though. And then replace back the uh, the ring like that. That way, it comes off easy. This is um, a valve that when there's pressure or when pressure builds up, it, it um, basically is a, a locking mechanism, okay? When it's like this, you can't, so if it goes up, it hits this one and will lock it. That's just a safety thing. And that this tells you also that there's a lot of pressure. And then this is the emergency vent also, and here's the, uh, the vent that you can put this uh, weight, it's, a, it's the regulator right here. So when it gets the pressure, this thing will just let it escape. So that's how I stacked it. And um, we're gonna close it, line up the arrows, and just turn it like so. And we gotta wait for like 10 minutes and, and this thing's gonna start like a head of steam. Um, that's when you put the uh, this weight thing the regulator okay and that's when you start actually 
the timing process. Uh, it's gonna be like 70 minutes at 10 PSI. So uh, that's what I'll do. All right, this is gonna wait. All right, it's getting there. When it hits uh, 10 PSI, that's when we uh, start the countdown, 70 minutes from there. We're getting there. Hey guys. Oh man, this is ready. It's cooled down. The pop, uh, uh, the little guard has uh, has um, dropped down. It's ready to uh, open. Just got done. Put it for about 70 minutes. There's no pressure. There it goes. Let's take a look at that. All right. Just wanted you uh, to take a look at that. Okay. All right. I think I know how to use this now. Earlier, I was using it this way, but I think it goes this way. All right, let's transfer this over here. Look at that. Nice. I'll uh, see you in a bit when I transfer all the, um, what you call it, all, all the, the jars over there. What's going on everybody? Just got done um, finishing with the last batch, it's still boiling, you can see but it's the taste test now. Um, it, it's, a, it's a long process, but it's also a fun process. I had some friends help me out uh, the other night, but I'm finishing this batch uh, just now, the next day, because I had a lot of chat. Uh, anyways, uh, let's do the taste test. Okay. Right, here we go. All right, a little close up. All right, here we go. Cheers. Well worth the effort in, in preparing it. That stuff is good. Wow. Wow. Here we go. I don't even see the bones anymore. Crazy. Mmm. Wow. That's how it looks. I put some hot chili, but it, it did take, it's not so spicy, but, oh, that's good. Mm. I'm gonna chase it with some beer. That is good. Oh, that's that combo. That is super good. Oh, 
like it. First time I've ever done the pressure cooking, first time I ever smoked, um, did the smoking. Great adventure. Thanks for joining me. And if you like this video, just give me a little comment. If you have different ideas of how to prepare shad, um, give me a little uh, shout out, man. Anyways, again, God bless you guys. Thank you so much for inviting me and, and watching my little adventure. This is Hallie, back fishing. I'm out of here. See the bones right here? That's the bones in the shad. All right, I'll taste it. Oh, that is good too. Mm. Wow, that flavor is outstanding. Whoa. You can taste the sugar. The br Wow, that is super good. The smoke flavor. Mm, that's really good. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. I, that, that is super good. All right, let's try it.